Welcome to your Tuesday afternoon. Meteorologist Keith Marler here with a mess of stuff to talk about for the better part of the day. Winter weather issues. This map also available online, but a winter storm warning is in effect for the areas in purple, including the Twin Cities through six o'clock this evening. Then we switch over to winter weather advisory, but that warnings in place for the day side today for the intense bands of snow moving from the northwest to the southeast a little bit. A little bit of mix thrown in there too, but now that we're rolling into the afternoon, yeah, we see what we're talking about. Anywhere from an inch to two inch per hour rates of snowfall. Now it won't fall at that intensity for that given amount of time, but we're going to pick up four to six inches over about a seven hour period, wrapping up around four or five o'clock before a brief lull. We're back at it again toward the later evening and overnight hours tonight, but not quite as intense. Ice storm warning for southern Minnesota, the Highway 14 corridor from Mankato to Owatonna down to Interstate 90 on Interstate 35. All that's in place for the day to day for this freezing rain component to all this and then a winter weather advisory generically for lighter snow totals or lighter wintry mixed totals in general. Snow falling again, intense bands reduce visibility at times. The airports issued a, a airport weather advisory as well. Expect some slowdowns there as visibilities are decreased to less than half a mile at times through the afternoon hours as the snow is rolling on in. Again, it's with us with our intense heavy bands through the early to mid afternoon, then tapering off to a lull for your evening commute, dying back and then coming back as just some periods of light snow tonight, tomorrow and into tomorrow night, slowly letting it peter on out. But we'll see the bulk of our accumulations in place for the evening commute before that lull grabs hold by around 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Working our way through that light snow through the overnight hours tonight, picking up an additional 1 to 3 tonight, and then a slow going 1 to 3 through your day on Wednesday and into Wednesday night before it all tapers on off and allows just for some cloud cover to linger into the day on Thursday. We put it together for our snowfall totals, and again, that swath spreading. This is a two-day total affair. 6 to 10 inches plus in the metro. That plus is for those folks that tease awfully close to a foot around the Twin Cities. Those will be again splotchy, but 10 to 14 concentrated inches down across parts of southwestern Minnesota. Redwood Falls up toward Montevideo, down toward Wyndham along that Minnesota River Valley. That seems to be a bigger bullseye with less of a mixed component. Again, our 6 to 10 does take into account some sleet and some mm, pelletized snow, reducing some of those totals overall, but it's a wet snow. It's a snow that compacts into that slushy ice when you drive over it or when you shovel it a little bit. It's got a little bit more of a, a weight or a heft to it and it just splats across the area through the late morning and into the afternoon. So for today, snow and sleet arriving earlier this morning and then it's all back to this just mid day intense bands rolling through four to six plus inches into your evening commute. Temperatures hang around around 30 for the later afternoon. A brief lull and then light flakes and mix overnight tonight with an additional one to three inches and then off and on light flakes Wednesday and Wednesday night with another one to three there. And that's how we end up with our totals getting to the six to 10 plus inch range. Beyond our current snow affair, we got to die off back to seasonable levels, which would be the low to mid 20s heading through Thursday, but especially the weekend looks quiet. Sunshine with highs in the lower 20s, both on Saturday and Sunday. But again, for your afternoon, just take it easy. You got your intense snow bands with reduced visibilities and just very slushy conditions. That brief lull, but even once we get past that, it'll take a while for MnDOT to get out there and clean everything up. It's hard to stay up with snowfall when it's coming at rates that are in that intense band action, like what we're going to see through the afternoon and again through that early part of the evening. In the meantime, enjoy what is for the most part a fairly quiet inside of an insulated Tuesday afternoon.